What is going on, Lunatics? Let's have a real hardcore talk about what is going on right now in the Luna Classic universe. If you like this type of content, leave a comment down below and let me know what do you think the price is at the end of this run? I gave you 2.8 cents, which was my best estimate about what the price action could do. But there's a lot of different things that are coming out right now indicating that there could be a significant sort of pump. Now, the market has not been kind to altcoins. There's some that have broken out, but it's a very small amount, which means that we haven't hit that golden bull face. I gave you the breakdown of it a couple of days ago. I'm going to remind you today, I think that the breakout of the golden bull comes at the beginning of January. We are merely a month away. Now, we could see a significant interest spike over the next little while. However, I do think that it takes retail coming back, and I think that, again, will happen in January. But again, let me know what you think down below. What do you think that final price is going to be, and do you think that retail has been returning? Okay, so number one, uh, number one, we've got... Uh, all right, so number one, plenty of articles out here because of the 1.34 billion burn over the other the last couple of days. Um, we could soar 200% after the breakout. By the way, we did soar 100% after the breakout. We didn't go 200%. But Binance has another article. Should you consider Terra and Terra Classic for the upcoming bull run? The answer to that is going to be an obvious yes. Uh, but plenty of articles out here, no depth to anything right now because there's just not a lot going on. Uh, there's no proposals that are up that are live right now. You can see that right here. Uh, coin hall, we've got our coins up here, seven, about 1,700 right now. Uh, the reason for that is uh, I unstaked my Terra. Um, so you know that's sitting over here and, and I'm going to restake that on the screen in just a few moments. But uh, you can see right here, we're just continuing to uh, create new amounts and, 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 and get more. So uh, price action uh, price action spiked up into this range that I gave you guys the other day. Now, uh, this line right here that I gave you as resistance, let me move out here to the daily so that it looks a little bit better for you. Uh, I gave you this a long time ago. I told you that 13208 was going to be one of those magic numbers right there where we probably reject off of. And guess what? For the second time now, we've rejected off of it. Now, uh, that would still keep us in line for this descending sort of channel or at least this side ways action through the end of the year. Now, uh, when we zoom out just a little bit like that, you can see right here, uh, I, I do think, again, this is our consolidation phase right now for that next big move. And I think the first big move is going to be right here into this little golden pocket right there. Uh, and then from that, we're going to get this big breakout right here. And that's where we drop that zero. Like it's going to be a huge run very, very quickly with a little stopover like right into this range right here. Okay, that's what I'm predicting uh, is going to happen. Now, you might be saying, well, what about the rest of it? Well, um, in July, a large dump bringing us back down to 304. And then that's when the real breakout happens. And that's when we get the real fantastic run coming into November of 2025. So uh, I do think just for anybody who's questioning, I think that that's the way that it lines up. Uh, we're, we're looking at November of 2025 to be the all-time high for the, the, the market, that is. Now, as far as volume goes, 87 million for the day, up 21%, up 4% in market cap. Uh, same thing for USTC, up 42%, up 6% in market cap. We're starting to see a little bit of volume, but back over here, when we look at the markets right now, we still see that BTCC still has that, that volume. And now, one thing that we didn't see is we saw that billion get burned, but we didn't really, really see BTCC uh, every single day with this con considerable volume. We don't see them doing burns every single day. Uh, and we're not seeing huge amounts of burns the last couple of days. So while their supply is still pretty high. So I think it's fair to say that that has not come from them. So I don't think it's BTCC uh, that's doing that. I'm not, uh, you know, I, I have no idea, by the way, on BTCC, what this volume really represents. So I have no idea. By the way, if you are looking to trade meme coins and you are looking for volume, go check out Weeks. Weeks is your place right now. Uh, I made 100% profit on API 3 the, uh, the other day. It liquidated for me. So, um, uh, I, you know, I, I, I actually took profit uh, down here at 212. Uh, I should have held on to it a lot longer, but I wanted to get my 100% gain out of it. So uh, we got a nice little run right there. And by the way, we only put like five bucks into it. Uh, we have $13 in futures right now. We're going to put that all into Luna Classic, by the way. The good folks at Cryptonomy.Finance are handing me incredible rewards. Let me show you what I'm about to earn. I put in 25 Solana. I'm about to earn 24 Solana on December 26th, the day after Christmas. Merry Christmas to me. Folks, it gets even better. On February 10th of 2025, I'm going to earn 0.17 
Bitcoin, currently valued a little bit over $11,000. Folks, I gave them Tether. I gave them 1,670. I'm gonna get 1,336 as my reward. All you have to do is sign up at cryptonomy.finance and listen, the important piece, the important piece is the launch pool. If you set up a staking contract with this launch pool, you're going to get rewarded based on a 9x from Shieldium, based on a 6x from World of Dippians, a 5x from Kima Network, a 5x from RWA. These are significant yields being earned on a daily basis by this team. My first contract completed a while back on November 21, and I earned a total income of 168,000 481 of which my income off of this in a 50 50 split eighty four thousand two hundred and forty one dollars folks the bull run is here all you have to do is now sit back stake your crypto and earn rewards don't forget down in the description below are the links to the telegram the links to all of the socials including twitter links to information and news websites sponsored by cryptonomy.finance and article sites for myself and several other influencers so go check them out today if you were also interested in making a play on luna classic now we're not going to do it today that's nonsense for me i like i can't do that right there you can't justify that sort of action what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking to set a buy order uh, to come down into this range right here so we're going to be looking at about 11.5 so what we're going to do is we're going to do a limit order and we're going to do it for 11.5 we're going to put it all in and we're going to open that long position right there so we set a limit order uh just in case we come down here and we wick down into this range over the next little while now it's probably a little safer to to, to be at 11 5 11 6 stuff like that uh you know as you come up here might be you know as it comes down over here might be 11 7 but i'm just going to rely on the fact that there's going to be a little wick right here um taking us to 11 5 and then from there a nice little springboard now if that happens then shout out to me It'd be a nice little play but again it's only 13 bucks so whatever Sign up, however, at weeks in the description down below. And while you're at it, Terra Casino, for all your risk-based gaming needs, they have a 90% discount on their Black Friday special through Stretch Networks. Platypus has Wild Spin available. You can use all of your favorite meme coins and tokens. Um, and uh, November 22nd to December 22nd, giving away 2 million euros um, through World Poker League. So uh, make sure you play today. And here we sit right now. Uh, we've got no stake right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to stake maximum amount of our Terra and we're going to pop this up right now. All right, so we just confirmed. We now have 10,832 Terra staked. Uh, as far as the launch pad goes, uh, we're still at 9452. Probably going to miss Selenium. We'll just have to buy at OTC or on the market. Um, and then um, look, the Lunk burns 1.3 billion for the day. Uh, Lunk Dash shows me that uh, nothing has changed fundamentally. About 3 billion more tokens entered Binance Hot Wallet over the last little while. Still sitting here waiting for that 1.84 billion to be burned and that 290 million over here to be burned as well. Uh, if you go back and you read the bankruptcy proceedings, then it is required that these things get burned. So uh, I think that we'll definitely see it. Now, uh, remember we had a billion burned over here, but we only had 29 million, 18 million, and 32.9 today. So um, significant burns, not really maintaining. Like we had some really good burns coming through the last bunch of days and now that's kind of fallen off the wayside so i'm not sure where those burns came from not really sure but um you know we, we could certainly use a little bit more now in closing in closing this is from Leonardo regarding the Ceramic Repeg. So far, I've been talking to several developers and they have yet to contact Ceramic. None have contacted Ceramic uh, directly. A few days ago, I thought it might have been a developer position, Ceramic's plan as an R&D project. Have you ever heard of the phrase, the first step is always the hardest? The Ceramic plan is neither an R&D project nor a first step. At its core, it's an evolution of what has already been built and proven to work. For instance, the CMM, which is the collateral market maker, would be an adaptation of how Z CZ USD maintains its peg today. The mechanism that keeps the peg to CZUSD generates a profit. This profit is spread across projects in the CZUSD ecosystem, and I am part of one. For me, it equates to buying pressure. The profit of the peg generates is used to buy Doge God, my project. It's how I met Ceramic. I met him while looking for a dev to build a rewards token for Dogecoin. That was over three years ago. Fast forward to now, and the token has become a viable alternative to buying a Dogecoin miner. Doge God is a much better alternative due to zero hardware 
and electricity costs. When it launched, we were able to scrape together 18,000 as a presale. Currently, Doge God has a market cap of 131K and a liquidity pool of 150K and has generated 109 Dogecoin. Zero money on marketing, all on building. And yes, before I get accused of shilling my project, guilty as charged, although it is an example of the collateral market maker concept working. This example also highlights the difference from every alternative I've seen to repeg USTC over the years. It's built on a foundation, not an idea. The idea bit happened several years ago. So for any Lunk Cosmos developer team that wants to be part of the biggest comeback in crypto history, now is the time to contact Ceramic. The opportunity is a temporary one. The worst case scenario is if no Lunk Cosmos dev teams are interested, uh, we just cast the net elsewhere. I want a repeg, Ceramic wants a repeg, the community wants a repeg. Lunk Cosmos dev teams, please read the room. So uh, there you have it. This is what's going on. And that right there is a post that will probably make things get real serious real quickly in this ecosystem. Now, I don't know for sure that that's going to happen. All I can tell you at this point is he's right. Everybody wants to see a repeg. Everybody wants success. Everybody has patiently waited, supported, and, and provided for this blockchain for a long period of time. And now we want to see that reward happen. So do you think this is viable? If you do, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, we'll let you know how this breaks out. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I think that, you know, if you're a developer, time is the time is right to reach out to Ceramic and let's make this thing happen.